spirit was saying revival. As I was sitting there, my spirit was saying revival. Um, in line with um, the pastor's vision is about revival. And, and, but tonight I'm hearing revival starting at home. Amen. Amen. I'm hearing revival starting at home. I was listening to what Jonathan said, and, and Jonathan saying that uh, you got to prepare for what God is doing. Amen. He's doing your life. What God is going to do in your life is going to prepare you for what you're going to be able to do in someone else's life. So it's about pre preparation. And a lot of this, and then I hear your pastor um, was talk. What he said is kind of joining to it, and you just said, "Who gets the credit?" Now, God is talking about revival. He's speaking about revival. My scripture is coming out of Philippians. And somebody preached it over here. Somebody said prayer. I don't know who, who said prayer. David did. So prayer, prayer is where I'm going. Amen. Because, oh, because uh, I, and, and I wanted to say this too as well. Because Pastor, uh, when he said about, he was talking about Peter. You know, uh, and how Satan is going to try to come against the Amen. work. That you, anything good that you try to do uh, in the will of God. Satan's going to try to attack that. He's going to try to throw a little dart into that. And Peter, uh, Jesus told Peter, he said, Satan wishes to sift you as wheat. Mm. But then Jesus said himself to, to Peter, I am praying that your faith fail not. Mm. Okay? And so when she said prayer, that, that stirred my spirit up in the scriptures I had already picked up right here in Philippians chapter 1. Um, I'm going to start at verse 2. It says, Grace and peace, grace be unto you, excuse me, and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God, and this is, I, I want everybody to just receive this in their spirit, because this is how we have to look toward one another. Mm -hmm. Paul, uh, uh, Paul and Timothy was, 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 you know, Paul over his church, he, he had a lot of care mm -hmm. over his church, and he was teaching, teaching Timothy yes, to, to think the same way. He said, think this, this dust mind. In other words, let's have the same mind toward one another. So in, in this body, in order for this revival to take place, we have to come into prayer That's for right. each other. Amen. Prayer for each other. In every, in every time you think of each other, the scripture right here says, I thank my God. It says, upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you, for you all, make a request with joy, for your fellowship in the gospel. From the first day until now, and see, I think about that constantly. From the first day I came here, um, at that fellowship, that love, and that fellowship is what has. Because I have a choice, <coughs> I have a choice, and every one of us has a choice. But I have a choice to say, no, I don't, I don't like, I don't like sunlight. Mm -hmm. I don't like sunlight. I don't want to go there anymore. Right. I got choices of other places I can go, but sunlight to me is just like my family church. Amen. So for, for me, rather than go anywhere else. I would rather come to Sunlight because of the fellowship that I have with my brothers and sisters here at Sunlight. So that now that that keeps my prayer strong. Amen. Come on. Now, just like every household, everybody does not agree. Amen. In the household, <laughs> but we do understand that we agree to disagree Amen. in the family of God because the Bible says, "Come, let us reason together." So right. it didn't say, "Come, let us agree with everything." Yeah. It said, come, come on. Let us reason together. That's, right. That's how we learn one from another. Is because, That's good. Uh, but prayer for one another. It says, being, that's verse, uh, verse 6, it says, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Christ. Now, that goes to what Mike said. Who gets the credit? Because the scripture right there says, he that begun a good, good, good work, work in you. you. Come on, we'll it, it says, he will perform the work. Come on. So, in other words, all we have to do is just Relax and rest in him Amen. because he began to do work. He gave the vision Amen. and that's his right. him is going to perform the vision. Right. Now, this right. is another thing I want to share with you. Uh, vision, and I, that's why I love pastor, because vision is an exercise of faith. Come on, that's true. And, and everyone that says yes to the vision has agreed because he had to agree with God first. God gave it to him. He had to agree with God. And then every one of us had to agree with the vision. Man, right. vision. So now, now he, he has, and that's one thing I like about it because vision is an exercise of faith. Whenever God gives you something, in the, in the beginning of time, God said uh, 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 the, the world was, or the earth was without form right. and it was void, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, think about this. Everything that you decide to do, everything, doesn't matter what it is, when you think of it, it is without form. Right. Come on. And it's void. Yeah. 
Right? Amen. Now, Come on. when Pastor said we're going to have revival in May, when is May? <laughs> May or January. Right? Yeah. That means he's looking somewhere into the future. He's already spoken into the future something's going to happen. I'm going to agree with, with May. Yeah. I mean, it was in here agreeing that we're going to have revival in May. Right? And so then we're going to have a revival in And now, yeah. prepare. Yeah. Yeah. Now we started, we started in January. Yeah. Preparing for May. Yeah. We're looking forward. That's what God is pleased with. That's why you're seeing in this church right now God, how God is, is healing, how God right. is, is delivering, how God is manifesting his hand in this church. Because, yeah. because that's the will of God for us to look Amen. and see by faith. The, the, Bible, the uh, Hebrews 11 and 1 says, now faith. Is the substance. Now faith is a substance. A substance. Substance is something you touch. That's right. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Right? That's right. And it's the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Come on. So what we're doing, when Pastor said, when Pastor said we have a revival in May, it became a substance to us. That's right. It yeah. became something we can so actually we touch. touch. We touch it right now it in the spirit. Amen. We touch it right now in the spirit. Come on. And then the evidence of it is the fact that we're working towards. Come on. Preparing ourselves for it. That's nobody's it. nobody's doubting. Anybody doubt that we're going to have it yet? No. Anybody no. doubt it? Have anybody start doubting about the souls that we're just going to be lost? No. Come on. Anybody start doubting that? No. That, that is faith. That's right. That is faith. That's, right. that's, that's how we, we operate in faith. That's what excites excite me because prayer, when we pray for each other, what we're doing is empowering one another. Amen. In the spirit realm. In the spirit realm. When you're at home alone at night, and when you're having your prayer time at night, we're praying and lifting up each other in prayer. Sunlight Baptist Church. God knows every member here. He knows everybody by name. Every name, every name, everybody in here I pray. This name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. So he don't have to, I don't have to say Marlo. I can say some of the members of Sunlight Baptist Church. And he knows every one of them. Amen. So when I, and, and, and that's what we, we should pray. When y'all praying at night, y'all can think about that, that old uh, boy with the dreadlocks. They do all the talking in Sunlight like Baptist Church. You can say, Lord, touch him. Amen. You know? and, but we have to pray for each other because one thing about this 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 thing that God is doing here, we have, we are actually we don't want to we don't want to court. And, 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 and we think about the day of Pentecost now. They, out on, the, on the day of Pentecost, uh, they said they were all in one place. Right. They had all things in common. They were on one accord. And then and then something happened. The Spirit of God came in and began to move and operate right. and work. Amen. Right. And then they said that the, then they went out. When they went out, now right now, right now as we're preparing, we're going out and we're telling people on May so and so, sometime in May, we're going to have a revival over so and so, and people are going. To, that we're prepared, and what we're doing is preparing their hearts for revival, and they're preparing and look on the on the outskirts of that, on the back, on, behind the scenes that we don't know about, that faith is still operating because those people are saying this church is going to have revival over here. In this big old park lot, in the big old field here, 400, 600 people, maybe 1,000, maybe 2,000. We don't, we don't know what God's going to do. But they're telling somebody else behind the scenes. We don't know. And not, and not only that, but I believe God is already pricking on us right now. Amen. Right Amen. Right Amen. Just because, just because that thought. Just because that thought. And, the, and see, this is another thing about it. About that thought. See, God thought first, right? When he began to create the world, he thought. Right? And then God spoke. And, it, and for us, when we speak, guess what our word, where our words go? Into heaven. Amen. Into the atmosphere. Into the atmosphere. We speak words that God is pleased with. God began to work the word. Amen. Because we're agreeing with God by speaking the words that, that God had already told us to speak. Amen. We speak it back to him. And the Bible says his word does not do what? Return void. Oh, but we we'll accomplish that. So now when we speak out, when we speak the Bible into the air, God said, yes. Amen. Said, yes, I love it. Yes. Amen. Come on. And so he began to move that word in the atmosphere. We don't know what's going on. So that's what prayer. That's what we need to do is pray. Amen. Pray. Pray that God begin to, to manifest all his will in the midst of our time while we're waiting for that day to come. Amen. Because the Bible also talks about uh, we we're like we're like pregnant women. That's right. We all are. Come we're on. Come on. God right. had planted a seed. Right? Uh -huh. And the seed is inside of us right now. We're talking about revival now. The seed, and we're talking about winning souls of Christ. So now everybody in here, everybody that's in here, it's probably a, a couple of weeks, right? maybe a week, a month, maybe, some of us. You know, when that, when that seed was planted into us, we became, we were pregnant. My, I mean, some of us look like it. That's the one I'm talking about. yeah, we. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. And the Bible said we are, we are in travail until waiting for the manifestation. That's of the right. sons of God. The sons of God will mean the 
children of God that God has already prepared out there doing this revival season, They're doing this mindset of revival. Come on. And it's starting right here. Amen. And I'm thanking, I'm thanking God for that. That's all I really want to share with I have. I uh, want to go all the way down through that scripture right there, but that's enough. I thank Amen. God. I thank God because um, it is prayer. Amen. It is prayer. Prayer is the key that unlocks the, the door of everything that we want from God. Amen. Everything we want from God, we pray. And when we pray for one another, I tell us the main thing that, that we never want to do. And I was talking to the guys at the camp today. Don't lose your testimony. That's right. Amen. In other words, uh, whatever you do in life, do not allow another person, another human being, right. to be offended by you mm -hmm. or affected by you by our ways. Sometimes our ways. It doesn't matter what we do. If we keep it, and I always talk about the vertical relationship. Mm -hmm. If I have something going on in my life, and I and I and I and I'm praying, I, I don't I don't want whatever's going on in my life to offend anybody. Else. That's right. I'm, I'm going to do anything to cause another man to stumble from from the Father right. Christ or anything. So whatever I do, whatever's going on in my life, if it's if it's a problem, I got to make sure that it stays between God because we have a vertical and a horizontal right. relationship. My horizontal relationship covers every mankind. Right. My vertical relationship covers me and God. So if I'm Amen. if I'm dealing with something, I might I gotta keep it keep it between me and God so it does not go into my because you don't want to ever cause anybody. That's that's what revival is. Is when we stay focused. I call it God minded. Amen. When we stay God minded, our focus is on God. No matter what the situation or circumstances, Amen. stay God minded. So that if you stay God minded, you, you don't because that's what His love was about. Jesus when He came into the world, He stayed God minded. His mind was on God doing the will of the Father so that he would not offend or affect his purpose in the world. And Amen. that's what we got to think about. Amen. Stay God minded so we don't hurt. Because when you're talking about revival, revival, uh, regeneration, that means bringing back. The Bible said he, uh, uh, he said he has given, he has uh, reconciled us. That's the word. He's reconciled, brought us back to him, right. and given us the ministry of reconciliation. So that's what we have. We have a, we have a, we have a, a, a joint relationship with God, and He has given us the ministry of reconciliation, which which draws on um, right. and, 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 and I'm gonna use this right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be quiet. Jesus said, "If I be lifted up that's right. in the earth, that's right. vertical, that's right. if I be lifted that's up right. in the earth, He said, I'll draw all me unto me." Amen. We're still talking about the vertical and horizontal. Amen. Come on, brother.